Hello everybody, uh, today we are going to be learning about uh, the order of adjectives and uh, some um, uh, vocabulary in context from this, from this article title Ukraine War, Zelensky calls West's Russian oil cap weak. In this title we have the word cap. In this case, the word cap means a limit, so that's a synonym that we can um, write or give to this word. Cap means oil limit. Right, so moving on, town. Uh, Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky has criticize a price gap here we have more context for the word cap a price limit set by this phrase or this verb set by means established so that's a synonym established right Sta established established by western allies on Russian oil exports in I'm going to underline the word export exports here is a noun this word has two pronunciation export and export the pronunciation um, if it's a noun the stress goes on the first syllable export but if, if it's if we're using it as a verb, it's gonna be export. So she exported. She exports. She exports. She exports um, watermelons to Colombia. She exports watermelon to Colombia. She exports. Um, water melon watermelons to Colombia so she exports but here the pronunciation is exports calling it weak weak flimsy uh, we could use the word flimsy here to indicate that something is really mm, flim flimsy which is not strong the cap or the limit approved on Friday. I'm just going to um, underline the comma here, and we have another comma here. What does it mean? It means that the writer added extra information. If we want to add extra information on a sentence, we must use comma. But we we need to make sure that if we drop this phrase. And eliminate the commas the sentence should make sense the cap is aimed so it makes sense right the cap is continuous the cap is aimed at stopping something else here when we use the preposition and after the preposition it comes a verb like the verb stop the verb should have um, um, the verb should have let me go down should have ing for example at cooking or before going before going to church or before going to the park etc so we must uh, write or use the ing if if we place a verb after a preposition so that's the rule that I just wanted to highlight in this in this sentence. Pay more than sixty dollars forty eight pounds for a barrel of seaborne Russian oil, seaborne Russian crude oil. So attention here. We have three adjectives. We have adjective one here, adjective two, and adjective three. All these three adjectives are describing the word noun. So, in English, 
we have an order where we have more than two or th or, or three nouns we have to 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 write them in a in a specific order for example i'm going to write here order of adjectives order of adjectives and this is true when we have like in this case more than three or even four when we want to be descriptive so the first thing the first thing the first thing you have to consider in your in in the order of adjective is a number number one is a number um, the second thing or the second order is opinion op opinion opinion the third adjective order is opinion or we have here opinion or quality number three is size number four is age number five shape right number six the color we use colors colors are adjectives as well of course then number seven everything that is proper proper nouns proper proper adjectives sorry proper adjectives and number eight the purpose the purpose the purpose so i'm gonna give you examples like of the order when i use more than two adjectives i'm gonna write a sentence i love that real that big I love that big old green antique antique uh, then we have the noun car so here we have the the size right if we go like if we follow the order so we have number three size it is you know um, we don't have to we don't have to use all the a you know um, features of adjectives or the order so we don't we don't use eight adjectives to describe something but if we have like in this case one two three four adjectives describing a noun we have to give those adjectives a specific order so we have big which is the size age which is old in number four the color we don't have the shape but if probably the square square antique car green which is the color and antique antique um, so then the, the the noun car purpose or proper adjective is antique is that car looks antique is is, is proper to to that to that car so i'm gonna give you another example my sister my sister uh, adopted my sister adopted a beautiful a beautiful um big big white white um i'm gonna write chinese bulldog bull bulldog yeah so if we follow the order of adjectives we have beautiful and i dropped the l yes beautiful which is an opinion something is beautiful for me but doesn't doesn't mean that it's it's gonna be beautiful for for somebody else so it's, it's an opinion size we have the size yes big the color white the origin right proper adjective when when we want to use proper adjective we mean nationality or materials right so um, Chinese then is a proper adjective than the noun that we are describing 
So we have to follow a, an order when when we have more than than three adjectives or four adjectives in a sentence. Continue in with uh, the article. Russia says it will not accept a cap on prices for its oil exports. The measure, the measure, here the word measure does not mean numbers, but it means like, uh, like the goal or the objective or like it's like some sort of a policy to be adopted. And pay attention to this verb, to this phrase, a verb due to come into force i'm going to highlight it due to come into force uh, it means to be effective this one means to be effective to be effective mm. to be effective to be effective on Monday again the preposition um, on with days of the week intensifies Western pressure on Russia over the invasion but Mr. Zelensky called the price cap a weak position and not serious enough to damage the Russian economy Russia has already caused huge losses to all countries of the world by deliberately 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 is an adverb and it means on purpose uh, with the intention or with intention or intentionally so intentionally or with intention with intention or intentionally destabilizing the energy market he said in his nightly address and the word address here sorry about this the word address here does not mean you know like the physical address of a person or a play or or anything right so is in, in, in this context means um, speech right speech in his speech in his nightly speech right i'm gonna write address in this sense means or is synonym of speech when somebody is giving a presentation or talking about something he is addressing a topic so address i'm gonna have i'm gonna give my address tomorrow right I'm gonna have an address tomorrow. I'm gonna give a presentation tomorrow. Um, it's only a matter of time when stronger tools, stronger tools, we have the adjective strong, strong is the one syllable adjective. So when we have one syllable object, adjective and we want to compare something, so we use ER to make it, you know, uh, to compare something he is stronger than her stronger he is stronger than he is stronger than her or he is stronger than she is tools will have to be used he added the price gap was put forward put forward here put forward in put forward put forward uh, means presented put forward put forward means presented presented um or suggested suggested in so we use in instead of on because we have um um, a month of the year so with month of the year we use a preposition in but when we have the date so we have to use one I think we're gonna have an example of that throughout the text by the G7 group of industrialized nations so in a bid to hit 
Moscow's ability to finance the war in Ukraine. So here the word finance works or it functions as a verb. He finance he finance his studies his studies right he study finance he is studied finance right he studied fi he studied finance so here finance works as a noun but over here a functions as a verb in a joint statement, in a joint statement, joint is an advanced adjective here, which is qualifying statement. So it means, uh, it means, let me go back, it means common. Joint means common, joint means common, common or shared. Um, statement the G7, the US, the, the EU, sorry, and Australia said the decision was taken to prevent Russia from profiting. Profiting means making money, making money from its war of aggression against Ukraine. Profiting means make money. Profit is the verb and it means make money make money from the from from the war on saturday again the proposition the kremlin spokesman spokesman representative or somebody who speaks in favor of somebody else dimitri Pesk, peskov said that moscow had prepared for the move but would not accept the gap Though the measures will most certainly be felt by Russia, the blow will be potentially softened by its move. And I'm going to highlight how they, the writer um, uses um, the adverbs to like intensify the the way things are done so it's it's, it's really um, important to know how to use you know adverse in, of of manner in order to intens intensify the meaning of, of things but another thing that i want to to underline is the war or the constructed war softened we have the this word soft soften comes from the, from the adjective soft then we add the particle n which means to make to make soft then it's a verb now it's a verb and then we add ed so that's why it is a constructed word we add two suffixes one to make it a verb which is this one this one is used to make any adjective into a verb. I'm um, going to give you an example. Hard. Harden. Right? Ripe. Ripen. Black. Blacken, which means to make black, to make ripe, to make hard. And then we we should add other particles like black blackenable or harden or ripen we, we we can add ed so this is the power of suffixes suffixes are really cool um i call them particles that you can use to improve your vocabulary or to increase your vocabulary but it's moved to sell its oil to another market, such as India, India and China, which are currently the largest single buyers of Russian crude oil. The agreement of price cap comes just days before an EU-wide ban on 
Russia. Crude oil imported by sea comes into force also on 5th December. On 5th December, when we have a date, when we have a specific day, we need to use the preposition on and uh, the month. That's the order. The price cap, which is meant to affect oil export worldwide. And the um the construction here the word white for example here is this is a suffix so nation nation nationwide which means all over the nation right in the whole country um world world wide in the whole world right every country or every body will be affected right worldwide exports worldwide around the world is meant to complement that countries which sign up to the G7 led policy will only be permitted to purchase oil and petroleum products transported via um, sea that are sold at or below the price cap. Ukraine's Western allies also plan to deny insurance to tankers delivering Russian oil to countries that do not stick to the price uh, the price cap or the price limit stick to stick to is uh, another phrase or verb mm. oh or comply with means comply comply with right or do not accept the price cap means stick the, the, the phrase or verb stick means comply with this will make it hard for Russia to sell oil above that price. So we have found very interesting um, phrases and vocabulary and even um, I have reviewed the order of adjectives. Um, so I hope this uh, short video helps to uh, improve your vocabulary. And the pronunciation of certain words um, yes if you have any questions on or any suggestions on videos that, that you or, or, or yeah videos that you would like me to 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 make just let me know on the um, in the comment section below and I'll be more than glad to 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 record that video for you take care